we've been fighting for the National Gallery for some years now. And the only, only National Gallery we have is a, a Center for Natural Culture, that's the art, art center. And we've been exhibiting there for a while. And we've been, you know, pushing the government to help us with a, a National Gallery that we can exhibit our works, like what is happening here, you know, and we've been forthcoming. So we are hoping that the government hears this and then, you know, grant us a national gallery and a museum actually that can hold most of our um, old masters works like the Kofi bombs and Theodore Soko who designed the Ghana flag and then um, to hold their work that can explain their you can go there and then look around and see their works and then tell you a story about how even our country became independent because we have nothing to show now that like the, how even the, the Ghana flag was designed where you could go and see it the uh, national um, what's it called the staff that the president holds who designed it the um, uh, coat of arms who we have nothing to show there's no place that you can go but if you have the national gallery and the museum for all these creative art things art is expensive in ghana and uh, maybe that is one of the reasons that patronage is low others also have a lot of uh, superstitious beliefs about artifacts, local artifacts. Uh, what is your opinion on that and what are you doing to uh, ensure that patronage goes high locally? Um, what I can say is um, art itself is not like, uh, it's not something you just buy. You know, it's something that, uh, something precious. You know, you just don't buy art because it's, it's beautiful. You buy it, you keep it, and it's very valuable. You know, it's not just like a car that whether it will be sitting there and then it will go rotting and then you just throw it away or the price goes down. Artwork itself, or painting, no, let me put it this way. Artwork itself is something very precious that when you buy it, the price changes from the day you buy it. The more years come in, you know, the more years go by, the more the prices changes. So um, our local um, artists that you see, are trying their best to to get to that stage so the prices you are seeing some of them are high and some of them are low it depends on the content and the story that comes with the artwork and the energy that the person has put into it and most of the prices that you see that are high are the um, artists that have been there for several years and have the experience and they've done shows mostly outside the country and like different countries as well not just in ghana so their names are out there already. When you go to Google and set their names, they are there making their names like Dario Tu with Kudo War and like Ajay Sowa and you know the other guys. You know, they, they sell international internationally. So for them their artworks are you know sometimes expensive than most of the young guys who are coming up.